So with forms, it's, um, this is the ability, if you've got a form on your website and you would like to track it, you can go ahead and create a new form analytic page. So all you're gonna do is click on create new form analytics. And what I've done here is we actually have, and there are some peculiarities with this, uh, with this product. So this is actually pulling in a Zoho form. So I've got a form that is actually called book a 30 minute meeting. Um, and you can actually see in the URL up here, it's book a 30 minute meeting and, or we'll show that to you in a second. Anyway, it's book a 30 minute meeting and the form actually has a name. It's not test test, but when you put the URL in and you you give, you say fetch, it goes ahead and it fetches that form and all of the fields. And if these fields actually have names, which we'll see in a second. And then you're going to give the URL that you're going to use when you are done with it. But as you can see, if we go into it, this is the actual form and it's a free one hour consultation form is what it's called. And so it's not called test and all of the fields in fact have names. So you can kind of guess by looking at them, you know, what they are, the phone number came through email and you kind of know the order. My guess is you're going to want to track every single field on that form anyway. So if it does come in a little wonky like this, uh, you can kind of figure it out and go through that. And then once you uh, do that, you're basically just going to hit save and launch. And once you've done that, it is going to give you really interesting data on what's happening when people are filling out your forms. So it's going to give you the total number of visitors, but then it's going to say visits. Okay. And this is the count of unique page visits. This is one user who's accessing the page three times and that's counted as three visits. So this is the uniques um, that are going through. And then you're going to go ahead and you can go ahead and look at starters and starters is defined as they got to at least one field. So somebody got in, filled out a field. Now this actually will go with conversions and abandons. They usually end up being about the same. The, the total of starters should equal the total of conversions and abandons because this is people that got one field filled in at least. Um, and then when you go to conversions, these are people that got all the way through. They completed the form, they successfully submitted it. And once they submitted it, um, you were good to go. Uh, and then you go to the abandons. And these are people that um, filled out the form and then they are started to fill out the form, but then they just abandon it. They either navigated away from the page or sat idle for more than 30 minutes or they closed the browser window. They did not get through your form. And so really, really straightforward, very, very easy to do. Um, it's a little bit tricky if you're doing embeds. Um, so you, you actually want to actually work on a form that's actually live that you can actually get to the form that's actually on a page. Um, but if you have uh, people, if you're doing shopping carts, you're trying to get people to register for a webinar, you want them to book a meeting with you, this gives you a fairly good idea of, are you asking too many questions? Um, mm -hmm. You know, is, is it too much detail that you're trying to get? Uh, what is it? Where are they bailing out? And over time, you can look at this and you see most people get to number three, maybe get to the fourth thing they're supposed to fill out. And they're just like, I yeah, forget it. So mm -hmm. um, it's particularly powerful um, with surveys as well. Now you can't, this does not track surveys, but you'll see that with survey software, where if someone's run, filling out a survey, there's a high abandonment rate when a survey gets to be more than X number of questions. Same kind of applies with, uh, with forms too. So a great way to kind of track all of that.